Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. We're going to talk about the Dow Jones here because uh, we thought we would get a move down. We're starting to get it, as you can see. Uh, we completed the ABCD pattern here, as you can see on this Dow chart. Uh, we missed the 61% retracement by about uh, 60 pips, but uh, that's what's happened so far. The NASDAQ has rallied a little, as has the S&P. But we do want to show you this uh, because we talk about this a lot when we're doing our intraday trading and, you know, the videos that I send out. But look at the low today, folks, here at the 1.618 level in the Dow Jones right here, as you can see. And what we did just a few minutes ago is we went up and made a 382 retracement of the high that we made early in the morning after the report. The market rallied 300 handles up to that level, stopped exactly at 39815. So these numbers work, folks, so keep them in mind. They don't always work, but they work more than they fail. That's the key to what we're trying to do here. And I wanted to spend just a second talking about a stock that has been um, one of my neighbors happens to own this. This is Intel, the large chip maker, of course. They're building a $10 billion plant up there in Phoenix, Arizona. And look at this, where we were at the 3A2 last week at 36, and evidently the news came out. And it's now at 21. It's dropped uh, two-thirds in just a matter of a very, very short period of time. So uh, the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is that sometime during this time here, you got to realize there's something bearish going on in this stock. So you got to be really careful. If you don't protect yourself, folks, nobody else is going to. You know, that's the problem. You, you – <laughs> Well, you know, there's an old story we used to have at Drexel Burnham. You know, the, 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 what we tried to do is when they make an investment, the first thing we talked about was not how much money a person could make, but how much money the person could lose. And that's what you should do. Is that's the broker you want to go with, the one that's quantifying your risk. Because if you know what your risk is, you're always going to be in the game. But if they're telling you, oh, you're going to, it's going to go up 900% or something like that, you know, we don't know that. The only thing we know is when it goes down, you got to get out. And that's the key you know, to try to do this successfully. So I hope that helps. If you have any trouble, get in touch with Paula Webb Douglas. Her website's everywhere, and she does a great deal of work on this stuff that's really good. So stay tuned, and we'll be back with the uh, first guest of the day. We're coming on at the break. We'll be none other than Norman, who calls it to the minute, Winsky, and we'll have some fun chatting with Norman here. So we'll be back in just a minute, folks. So stay with me. 